In the previous video, we learned about nested routes. We created a block folder within the app folder, and inside the block folder, we created two subfolders, first and second. Both folders contain a page.tsx file, which corresponds to the paths slash blog slash first and slash blog slash second. While this approach works for now, it's not always feasible to define routes using predefined paths, especially for complex applications. This brings us to scenario number four. In scenario four, we are building a product listing and details page. When a user navigates to slash products, we should display a list of three products. However, if the user navigates to slash products followed by the product's ID, we need to display details about that specific product. For example, navigating to slash products slash one should display details about the first product, slash products slash two should display details about the second product and so on. Let's explore how to achieve this using Next.js. To begin, let's create a new folder called products within the app folder. Inside the products folder, create a new page.tsx file. In this file, we will define a component to display a list of three products. The component name is product list, and we return an h1 tag that says product list, followed by three h2 tags product one, product two, and product three. If we now navigate to localhost 3000 slash products, we will see the list of products as expected. So the first part of our scenario is complete. Now, based on what we have learned about nested routes, we know that we can implement the second part of the scenario by creating three separate folders within the products folder. For example, let's create a folder named one and add a page.tsx file within that folder. In this file, we will define a React component, product details, that displays the text, details about product. In the browser, if we navigate to localhost 3000 slash products slash one, we will see the expected output. So nested routes will work. However, let's consider the bigger picture. If we had hundreds of products, creating a separate folder for each product is not a viable solution. The correct approach is to use dynamic route segments. In our scenario, the product ID, which can be one, two, three, and so on, should be a dynamic value that maps to a specific file in the products folder. And in Next.js, you can enclose a folder name with brackets to create a dynamic route. Let's go back to VS Code to understand this concept better. Inside the products folder, let's remove the one folder. And instead, we will create a new folder with a special name. Within a pair of square brackets, let's specify product ID. Now you could name it simply ID, but product ID provides a better context in this scenario. Inside the folder, let's create a new page.tsx file with a React component. The component is the same product details component we had defined earlier. After saving the file, if we go back to the browser and navigate to slash products slash one, we will see the product details page. The same holds true for slash products slash two, slash products slash three, and even slash products slash 100. This is possible because Next.js treats square brackets in a folder name as a dynamic segment, enabling us to create dynamic routes. 
Next, let's enhance the heading text. Currently, we only display the text details about product regardless of the specific product ID. In a typical application, you would extract the product ID and perform some action such as making an API call to fetch the details for that product. For our scenario, let's keep it simple and display the product ID in the browser. Now every page in the app router receives route parameters as a prop. Let's destructure it as params. The params object contains the route parameters as key value pairs. In the case of product ID route, we have a single parameter, which is the product ID. Let's bind it to the UI. Details about product, followed by curly braces, params.productID. After saving the file, if we go back to the browser and navigate to slash products slash one, we will see the details about product one. Similarly, if we visit slash products slash 100, we will see details about product 100. Scenario four has been successfully implemented. Now the red squiggly on params is a TypeScript error. Let's specify the type of params as follows. Colon, curly braces. Params is an object with a key called product ID of type string. TypeScript is now satisfied and the page continues to render as expected in the browser. All right, let me quickly summarize what we have done. We first created a folder with a special name using a pair of square brackets and the ID within the brackets. Then we created a page.tsx file inside that folder. This allows Next.js to map this file to any route with the URL slash products slash product ID. Inside the page.tsx file, we used the params prop provided by Next.js to access the product ID route parameter. Here is a visualization of dynamic routes. We have the root route, slash products, and slash product ID, which is the dynamic route. Dynamic routes are useful when implementing the list detail pattern in any UI application. Hopefully, you now have a clear understanding of how to achieve this with Next.js. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.